For those new to Twitter, we're going to go ahead and take a tour of the Twitter interface. So the first area we're going to start is with our Home tab. And within the Home tab, you're going to see several main areas. The big area on our right, this is our Twitter stream. And so what we are seeing here is anybody who we follow, anytime they tweet something, it is going to appear in the Twitter stream. And we can go ahead and scroll down and follow that stream. If we would want to, within that stream, you can see, we we have new tweets coming in. We can simply click on that and it will get updated. Now if we want to click on any of these links, we can do that. It will take us out to the web. If you click on a hashtag, like we see here, it's going to go ahead and take us basically in what would be more or less a hashtag search. You can see that the hashtag was put up in our search bar up here. So if you see a hashtag you want to follow, you can actually click on that and see what else is going on there. Within our stream here, if we want to, we have some options if we want to reply to somebody. So this would be acting in more of a conversation. We can reply directly back to that person. If we find something that's really great that we want to share with the other people that are following us, we can click on retweet. If you want to mark something as favorite, and some people do this um, to go ahead and almost like save, you can go ahead and mark that as a favorite, and then that way you have that marked. Um, I have this thing called Buffer right here, which is an additional add-on, so we're going to skip by that. We then do have our More area. So if you want to email this tweet to somebody or to yourself, occasionally I use this if I need to get around a filter. Um, I can email it to myself and look at it outside of school. And then you also have the ability to get some embed code to embed that tweet. So that is your Twitter stream. On the left-hand side, we have three main areas. The first one is your profile. So you could click on your name to get into your profile and change any information. You can also compose a tweet in this same area so you'd simply just click your count of how many characters you have shows up right there and as you type that count is going to go down and then when you're done you could go ahead and tweet and you do have the ability to add a picture or location as well you can also see above that you can see your tweets you can see who you are following and who your followers are in the box below that we get to more of the who to follow this is Twitter trying to give you recommendations of people you would like to follow and then the last we have the trending area and this is just showing what is trending on Twitter and so you can see right now Google Reader is trending because they are shutting it down so these are just the hot topics that are showing up so we're gonna move on to our next tab which is connect on our connect screen you're gonna see we have interactions and we have mentions and as I click on these it's going to switch what's going to show up on the right hand side so in the mentions area where I'm at right now this is anywhere someone puts your Twitter handle in their tweet so this is and you get a you get a notification of this this is great so you hear what other people are saying about you on Twitter or if they're replying back to you you know that so it gives you that notification if we go to interactions this will contain mentions but also it tells you you know if someone's now following you if someone has favorited a tweet um, that that you went ahead and put out there so it's also a great way just to kind of keep track of what's going on with you and your Twitter account and your public presence out on Twitter and again you can see we also have the who to follow um, and the trending boxes which appear again so now we're gonna go ahead and go to discover this is probably the tab I use the least so it's trying to kind of it's telling you these are th some tweets that are tailored for you this is all about just trying to find things to help you out on Twitter so if I go to my activity area you know this this area is going to you know again give me things that Twitter thinks I would want to see that are somehow related to me so you know just something else the who to follow again we've had this show up before here at the bottom but now it's giving me that who to follow list I have a find friends area which is again I can search on Twitter or it wants to connect um, to my email and I could go to browse category here as well and this is just searching by category so really in the discover area Twitter's trying to get you to find more people who you would like to follow I'm gonna go ahead and now click on me and so in our Me tab, we're going to see a couple different things. And you'll probably go to the Me tab exclusively for um, finding if anyone has given you a direct message. Um, that's one of the areas I go to the most here. So again, we have, we have 
your tweets showing up here because we have tweets we have our following our followers our favorites and we also have lists and as you start to use Twitter more and more and gain lots of followers you may actually want to create a list because sometimes your your Twitter stream will get too big so right now I have a Missouri educators list and so what I've done is I've taken all the people I follow on Twitter, but then I am just kind of putting some people who I know are just Missouri educators, and I'm tossing them in here. So you know, so that is so that is you know that is a way for me to kind of go ahead and say, you know what, I want to just maybe follow this small segment of people, and I can now I've basically filtered down my. Twitter stream to only the people that appear in this list. And I can edit this list if I want to. I can you know, I can right now I have it marked private. I could make this public so other people could see it. But again, this is my list. I'm going to go ahead and just keep it as is. I can then click on list members. And so this will show me the different people that are now that now belong to my list. And you can see here I've only added just a few. But you do have the ability to add people that you follow to the list that you have. So um, this can be a way, once you start using Twitter just a little bit more, the list feature can be something that you can use to really kind of narrow down. Some people make it for their go-to people. Some people organize it by topic. So you might have some iPad people or some Google Apps people or things of that nature. And finally, we do have our search area up here, which we can search for items on Twitter. This is kind of like doing a Google search within Twitter. We can come to our gear, which again allows us to get to direct messages, gets us into our profile. We can check out our settings. We can sign out of Twitter right here. And finally, we also have our compose a tweet, so another area from which we can compose a tweet on Twitter. So that is your Twitter tour. So hopefully you've got the tools to start using Twitter for professional development.